Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. Chris Holman here and uh, broadcasting, as you can see, from a little bit remote, but we are certainly staying in the mid-Michigan area for right now. Sheila Scott is joining us. She's the Community uh, Financial Education and Business Development Officer at LAFQ, <laughs> which is an interesting uh, position, I guess. Not a lot of uh, banks and, and credit unions do this sort of thing. Welcome back, Sheila. It's good to have you here. Thank you. You know, you, you, know, you guys are, 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 are really more than frequently engaged with the community, and uh, we wanted to, to review one of those ways today with you, okay. uh, the Back to School Extravaganza event, uh, which got 225 kids involved. <laughs> in Tell us a little bit about what that is and, and how it went. Yes, that is the most amazing event. Um, we do call it the Back to School Extravaganza because we have more than just school supplies. But this year we were able to do over 200, provide for local um, families, grades K through 12 with free backpacks and school supplies. So it was a really great event, um, a lot of uh, community involvement. Hey, how many people, uh, I mean, how did you invite these people? How did you know who to invite? Uh, because these are, uh, in, in, in many cases, people who need a little bit of help. Yes. So what we do, we send out, we call it an e-blast. It's like a, a big flyer um, that we send to all of our membership. We provide collection boxes in all 10 of our branches, as well as um, the Village Lansing. Um, they advertise it also on their website. It's on our website. And so the word gets out that way. You know, as a credit union, you, you get very close to your, well, let's call them shareholders. I mean, they're partners yeah. as well as customers. And and so you have a feel for kind of their needs. They, they, there's a lot of financial stress right now that yes. parents are going through and and, and caregivers. What what, do, what are you seeing at LAFQ? And that's what we are seeing. And that's why we wanted to do this because due to inflation or the cost of living, how expensive it is now. So we try to look for ways that we can take some of the stress off these parents or even grandparents, because it was grandparents that came through that line that also said they were taking care of their grandkids on a fixed income. And so by us partnering with the, um, you know, the Village Lansing and Two Men in a Truck, we was able to release some of that stress and also provide the kids with the necessary tools they need to thrive throughout the year. You know, it's kind of interesting because this this generation that's going through caregiving are also in many cases taking care of parents still, yes, as well as their kids, and that puts a financial stress um, as well. Yes, it does, and that's what we see a lot of. Um, you know, people they they just need help, and so and we were just so grateful that the community really came together for this event. Um, they provided personal hygiene, so like for the you know, the females or the males, we had lotion, deodorant, shampoo, feminine products. Um, a library was there giving out books. We had clothes. So this event, I think, really, really took a lot of stress off these parents and these caretakers. Well, it, it can't help but be a, a tremendous asset uh, for those people. These are things that we, most of us, take for take granted. For granted. Yes. They're there. You know, yes. and, then, and then when they're not, you realize how integral they are. Yeah, I couldn't imagine a kid not having a toothbrush. Yeah. But, you know, just to see how important that was or body wash, some of the parents was like, yes, we could really use that. And it just really, you know, made me appreciate the things that I have to see, you know, I'm thinking I never thought of not having a toothbrush. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. It was just there, you know. Yeah. So, so listen, efforts to, to help the community, they, they don't happen alone. It's very difficult to do things alone. Yeah. Talk, talk a little bit about the village, uh, Lansing, and, and, and two men in a truck. Yeah, with two men in a truck, they provide the boxes for us, and they are like huge boxes. So we're able to have, um, you know, that so that people can drop off the supplies. They even offer to pick them up for us, um, but we just normally go and pick them up ourselves. So those boxes really, really come in hand. And it's like free of charge. It's like they just donate them. The Village of Lansing, we partnered with them because they are very well known in the community. They reach out to the community. Their whole goal is to make the community better for our young people. So that's why 
uh, we wanted to partner with them. So, and then we you got to use their facility. And so everything just worked out great. You know, and it's, it's, it's ironic. They're one of our great community partners, a great corporation that is homegrown, started right yes. here in this area. So, so did the community step up and respond by, by bringing needed supplies for this? Yes, they did. They really, really did. Um, the partnership that the village has, they, you know, um, they would reach out to their vendors. And so their vendor, because they were the one that donated most of the uh, personal hygiene products, the toothbrushes, toothpaste, and body wash, and just everything you can possibly name, they stepped up and they brought it in, shoes and clothes. And so it, I just can't say enough about that event. And I hope that we touch those 225 families and made their life easier. I'm going to presume that this is going to run into a third year, right? Yes. And we're aiming because we doubled the amount this year than we did last year. So we're hoping to double. We're looking for 400 next year. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. Sheila Scott, <laughs> Community Financial Education and Business Development uh, Officer at LAFQ. Thanks so much to you for being with us today, but thanks to LAFQ for all they do in the community. Thank you for having me and have a good day. You too. It is uh, the Michigan Business Beat that you're watching on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman.